Hey guys, we're going to be talking cancer and cannabis today and what things are good about cannabis and cancer and what things are just myths. Hey guys, we're talking medical marijuana today with Blake and Tim. We're talking about cancer. It's a pretty heavy subject. We want to talk today about cannabinoids and cancer. We want to dispel some of the myths that have, have been out there. Um, and I want to talk uh, a little bit later about nausea. Blake, look, there's a lot of things on the internet that, that cannabis and medical marijuana will cure my cancer. Yep. You know, is, is it true? Is it not true? What does science say? Um, there have been no definitive studies that have shown that cannabis cures cancer. Now, right. having, having said that, anecdotally, I'll start there and then I'll go back to science. Anecdotally, we know that some people who have had tumors and so forth yes. did do any chemotherapy and they did massive amounts of cannabis and it worked. They, be, they beat their cancer. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know. That's good for them. Let, good for let's them. just start there. I mean, good for them. Yep. It's not what we would do in Western medicine. That's right. It's not really what, what we would recommend, but sometimes one in yep. a thousand. About one, one in a thousand. thousand. About one in a thousand. Um, so, you know, that, that's a good place. You know, it's, it's not. Well, it's a good place to start. We need more research. We need more research. Now, there is scientific research that shows that certain types of tumors have been affected by cannabis. And so... Um, we have seen some types of tumors shrink in the presence of high doses of cannabis. Now, that has not been done in human studies. That was mostly in animal models. And so we need more research. We need okay. more research. So from a practical standpoint, for patients with cancer, are there products or things that we need to touch on Yeah, that people need to know? So here, here's the first things I would say uh, immediately about cancer. If you have cancer and you're going through traditional um, chemotherapy, radiation, and so forth, you need something that's going to help you with the pain. You're going to need something to help you with nausea. You're going to need something that's going to help for acute pain if you have a specific area. And so for acute pain in a specific area, I recommend topicals. For daily dose to help manage pain and so forth, I would use tinctures. And then on top of that, I would also use uh, usually an inhalable method, uh, like a, in the case of like Zion, I recommend Lemon Dream. Um, Lemon Dream helps, the, you, can, you can use it all day long. It helps with your pain. It's gonna take help with your nausea because it's high in Delta-8. Delta-8 helps specifically with nausea. And that brings up our discussion about these, these different types of products that are in the cannabis plant. That's right. That can really help with the symptoms related to cannabis. So that's right. Nausea Delta-8 tends That's to work right. on nausea? That's right. That tends to have a better effect than Delta-9. Um, you experience more of a body high and you can take more doses of it without having a full head change. And so um, Delta-8 seems to be a good product for that. And then also, if you add other molecules like CBDV and so forth, you can stimulate appetite. So a lot of times while you're sick and you're taking medicines, um, you don't feel like eating, you don't want to eat. And so we can stimulate appetite and we can help with pain. We can help with nausea. And that's the immediate uses that we know are effective for cannabis um, and cancer. If you're in stage four and you're dying and you want to try something like a Rick Simpson oil, would I dissuade somebody from doing that? Probably not. Because at that point, Odds of one in a thousand are better than what your, you know, prognosis is going to dictate anyway. Sure. You know, and this is a good time to kind of break this up and say, if you want to, if you want to learn more about how to find the right dose of cannabis, you can link to some of our other videos where Blake and I talk about finding your just right dose. And we've talked a little bit more about strain specific choices yep. and some other things too. When you talk about Rick Simpson oil, you're talking about a, a conglomeration of the cannabis plant, right? In a black tar, very, very strong medicine, um, you know, can really put people into almost what I've been, what I've been told uh, is like a cannabis coma, you know? I mean, it really, really strong. Yeah, I mean, 
you're looking at dosing up in anywhere from 750 to 950 milligrams of THC per milliliter. Yeah. This is That's something you really, really want to, you want to have a, a good relationship with a cannabis provider in this case. Uh, I, you know, I think we both agree with that. If you're going to try something like this when in the regimen of your cancer treatment, I mean, you really want experts involved in, in moving this direction. CBD and cancer. What do we know about CBD? There's a lot of patients that are using, a lot of people are searching online all over the place. You know, is CBD going to help with my cancer? Right. Um, here's what I would say. For acute pain, especially topicals could be useful. Is there any direct studies or evidence right now that high amounts of CBD affect tumor growth or cancer? No. There's no evidence at the moment that that's the case. Yeah. I think that, you know, with, with my patients, the other thing that I would add to this is, you know, CBD, there's a lot of anxiety in cancer treatment and being yeah. diagnosed with cancer. The one thing that I would say is beneficial is adding some CBD to whatever regimen you're using, especially if you're using cannabis and you have cancer, it can buffer that, um, that anxiety reaction. Yeah. Um, and it can help in that way from a symptom standpoint, even if it's not helping with the cancer treatment. The other thing I would say is I've been asked a lot about, um, will CBD help my nausea and, and so mm -hmm. forth? Um, we know Delta-8 has a positive effect on that, but that's THC and also is yeah. psychoactive. There is not a lot of evidence to, to show how effective CBD by itself is with, with stomach. Uh, -huh. uh, there is some some information that suggests that CBG will help with GI inflammation, um, but we need to do more studies. And so if I were to create a product around that, it would be a CBG gummy. Got it. In, in our discussion today, we've talked a lot about cancer. Um, we've talked about some really heavy, uh, heavy topics like RSO and some, some things that aren't really typical in the, in the medical marijuana discussion, because a lot of times we talk about pain. But it, you know, if you like these videos, you know, like, subscribe, comment below. We're always available to ask or answer any of your questions. We'll answer all of them. And it gives us uh, content so that we can you know, bring more videos to you. Uh, we really enjoy this yeah. and hope you do too. Thanks for watching.